day friends hello I hope everybody is well it's been a while since I've done a video uh, today is the end of the rains another in another rains I hope your determination and your practice uh, you held it uh, I hope that you kept through your determination in this period and that you achieved the result you were looking for it's a uh, really difficult keeping a uh, determination because the whole idea of, of a determination is to make a make like a objective right an objective so right now in the present and hold that objective into the future and keep that objective regardless of conditions changing right of, of uh, and obstacles you know, obstacles coming along and changing, we try to uh, keep the determination no matter no matter what happens, right? This is very, a very difficult practice. It's a difficult practice in itself, but it's also a practice that lends to strength, conviction, confidence in oneself. It also deepens your, uh, deepens your willpower as well um, and sticking to your word. So there's many good things about the determination practice and the determination practice is a big thing practiced in during the rains now as a base or most all monks have to determine a place to stay for the whole rains period and not leave uh, that's a base determination and then you can make other determinations as well but it's a good occasion to really uh, put forth uh, great effort in your practice and try to strive forward and upwards so I hope that uh, your determination was successful and you were able to maintain it and keep it and that you got to uh, and, and that your the result uh, is, is positive for you now the other day changing the subject a little bit the other day I was talking with someone about uh, practice and about distraction and about how quick distraction can happen and it was very interesting because there was a point there where we were talking about how we get swayed here and there and it's easy to um, it's easy to get off I guess the focus and the objective in life because uh, there's obstacles and uh, the conditions of life always throw us you know always throws a spanner in the works there's always some kind of obstacle somewhere and, uh, it, you know, we were talking about uh, death and the reflection on death and how that is always a good focuser. It's actually one of the guardian meditations. Uh, Maranasati, right? Focus on death, awareness of death. You see, whenever you get lost in your practice, whenever you get lost in focus or you're not sure where you're going, in your practice just come back straight to reflection of death and the Buddha says to reflect on this often during the day but the main thing is is remember when death comes right the first things we need to always acknowledge is death comes when it when it comes right it doesn't sometimes it doesn't even knock at the door it just barges in right so when the death's door right when death door opens the main thing is to ask yourself, right? Like, for example, I've said this many times. Ask yourself, okay, if I was to pass away in the next few minutes, where would the mind's destination be? Where would the mind go? So where would the destination be? And this here will give you, will bring you straight into focus. It'll bring you straight into sati. And it'll also help you, it'll also help you uh, let go of a lot of distractions in the moment, in the present moment, and get you, get you really focused in, right? And so at this point, you ask, you, you, you know yourself and you ask yourself, well, where would the mind's destination be? The majority of people don't have the answer to that, right? And that's the danger, because where will it go? We don't know. 
So on this path or in this practice, it's our duty to know where the mind will go, right? At least you should know that for yourself. At least you should know where your destination will be. It's like getting on a train and then you get off the train, you know where you're going. So this body, when you, when you leave this body, you should know which platform you're getting off, which number and where the destination should be. It only makes sense, logical sense, right? If you if you reason in that in the, in that way. So yeah, like the the whole focus on the mar, marana sati, the focus on death, is is very skillful practice to to keep you <clears throat> keep you in check and keep you uh, focused and keep you on on track, on track, right? Because a lot of things we need to know for ourselves. Um, there's no point. You can read as many books as you want. You can listen to a lot of Dharma talks, which is also very good and skillful. But at some point, you also need to know for yourself, right? The book isn't going to help you when you die, right? Or at time of death. It's everything that you've accumulated, all the practice that you've accumulated, your awareness and your views, right? You can't pretend views, right? So you can read a lot of books and sound really good to everybody else but if your views aren't aren't in check and if you're if your knowing is not there if your knowing is not there then really uh what have you done to yourself right so that's not a good thing to do right i wouldn't i wouldn't recommend that so that's why practice is more important and knowing things for yourself is far more superior than just knowing things by memory right although that has its place but in practice it's not because when when it comes time uh to get off the train to go to the next destination that all that all comes to that all accumulates that all points to what have you done with your life and what where are your views and what where is your knowing where is your level what is your level is probably not the right word but i guess where is your you know where's your practice at where's your development at Right, so that's really important to know. So, you know, to check ourselves <clears throat> throughout the day, all the time, to know where we're at. That's part of sati. It's part of focus. It's part of being aware. It's also uh, part of right view of of honing right view to making sure that our mind is always in line with dhamma at all times. Right, and this is important. It's not just important uh, to be intellectually. Uh, stimulated or inspired even it's important you know on a practice level an experience level that you know that your knowing grows and that you know and that you grow deeper and deeper and deeper in knowledge and wisdom for yourself so the end of the rains for 2024 and uh, i bid you farewell uh and hope that uh you had a great rains this year So just a quick update on Buddhist.cafe. Uh, our development has improved a lot. We've moved to a new server. We've moved to um, a custom site now, which is uh, in development, and it's growing growing rapidly now, and it's uh, the features are improving. Uh, our security, security and privacy has improved immensely. So I encourage you to uh, join the site and the channel's reached 500 subscribers, or at least the YouTube channel has. BitChute is dragging. <laughs> BitChute is dragging. And for those of you interested, I also just opened up uh, uh, an account on X just to get the word out for Buddhist.cafe. So if you're subscribed to my YouTube channel or my BitChute channel and you join Buddhist.cafe, I'm going to give away 10 gold memberships. Uh, until the end of October this year, right? So all you need to do is, if you're subscribed to either of the channels, um, you know we can we can uh, I, I will I will give away ten uh, free gold memberships. Okay, you're going to get a free membership anyway when you join, and it and it gives you um, a lot of features. But the gold the gold membership gives you just some more features. And that's uh, to celebrate 500 subscribers, reaching 500 subscribers on the channel. 
So, yeah, I think that's it for that. And uh, I look forward to uh, seeing you on Buddhist.cafe or in maybe in future videos. I'm uh, not sure about doing more a lot of videos all the time now because uh, I think the better thing to do for me is to quieten down and just have most of my work um, on my personal website and Buddhist.cafe and Buddhist for Truth. Um, I'll do some videos on YouTube from time to time. Of course, if the if the channel grows more uh, into the thousands of subscribers, then you know I'll do I suppose uh, videos periodically. Uh, but doing weekly videos, it's just I just don't have the time right now. Not in this temple. If I leave this temple and the conditions change, I may look into it again. But I'm looking hopefully next year to to cut off all that electronics and uh, like I did f for a long time there and uh, and do it again for a while. So, but at least we've got some things developed now that we can stay in communication. And there's some really good ideas developing on Buddhist Cafe, and we're going to be um, having conferences now. And members can also host their own conference. And eventually, uh, there'll be other things um, uh, that are in development right now, which I won't talk about um, until they're until they're achieved. But yeah, so so again, if you're subscribed to the, you have to be subscribed to the YouTube channel or BitTube channel. Unfortunately, there's no real way of verifying this. So, uh, if you are subscribed to the YouTube channel, uh, perhaps uh, uh, leave a comment uh, below this video. And if you're subscribed on the BitChute channel, um, perhaps leave a comment on the BitChute channel. And uh, yeah, that, that might be the way to go. You leave a comment there, join Buddhist Cafe. And then uh, you know, leave a comment on one of my posts, and then I'll verify that you left a comment here. Now, if you're not subscribed and you do it, um, you know that that's unfair. Okay, I've got no way, real way of <laughs> verifying that right now. But if I find out, if that's not in good faith, okay, so don't spoil it for the people that are subscribed. If you're not subscribed, subscribe, and then uh, you'll get the membership. If, if if I decide and the way it's going to work out I guess just to make it easier is the first 10 people to contact me <clears throat> on buddhist.cafe just leave a comment or the first 10 comments I guess five comments on on YouTube and five comments on BitChute or whatever whichever one fills up the quickest I guess the first 10 um, if you subscribe then I'll, I'm going to give you a free gold I'm going to gift you a free gold membership for a year um, so you you can also use our uh, our chat as well on our site, which is which is uh, in development, but it's it's getting better and better. So yeah, I think that's it. I think that's the update. Thank you.